Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your DNS server is not responding on Windows 11. So if you're having a problem with your DNS server address, so we're going to go about resolving this hopefully pretty quickly, and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing, check to see if you're having this problem on other websites. So it could be a website specific issue here, in which case you just might have to check back later for the site. Other than that, you can also try a different web browser as well and see if you're still experiencing the problem over there. Something else you can try as well, we can try resetting our network adapter settings. All you have to do is open up the search magnifying glass, type in settings, best match, or come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to go down and you want to go on the left side and select the menu icon up the top and select network and internet. You want to scroll down and select advanced network settings. And now you want to go in where it says network reset, reset all network adapters to factory settings. Go ahead and left click on that. And this will remove and reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. So if you're using a Wi-Fi connection, you want to take note of your Wi-Fi password before you reset. Because once you reset your computer, you will need to enter back in your Wi-Fi credential if you want to get back online. If you're using an Ethernet connection, you don't have to worry about that. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and select the Reset Now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Go ahead and select Yes. And now you're about to be signed out, so I'm just going to take the initiative and close out of everything and restart my computer. So hopefully that should have been able to resolve your problem, guys. If you're still having a problem, you can try opening up the search menu. Type in control panel. Best results should come back with control panel here. Go ahead and open that up. Set your view by to large icons. And then select the network and sharing center. So go ahead and left click on that. Now you want to select your internet connection type over here on the right. It will likely say something different for you, but just click on the little hyperlink here. And now that we are here, you want to go ahead and select the Properties button by down on the bottom left. Locate the Internet Protocol version 4 and then parentheses TCP slash IPv4. And then you want to select where it says the Properties. Let's go ahead and left click on Properties. On the bottom, select Use the following DNS server address. And now we're going to use Google's own DNS server. So it's going to be 8. And then click inside the second field here. So it's going to be another 8. 8, 8. You're just going to make sure each one of these four sections has 1, 8 in them. And then the alternate DNS server is going to be 8.8.4.4, exactly how you see it on my screen here. So you don't want to have more than one number in each field. And then once you're done with that, you can go ahead and check mark validate settings upon exit. Select OK. Close out of here. And if you need to go back to you know the original settings, you can just set it back to automatic. So if you go back underneath the properties, Internet Protocol version 4, select Properties again, and you could just set it to obtain DNS server address automatically. So again, pretty straightforward process there, guys. And once you're done with that, you can just close out of here. So like I said, pretty straightforward process. I do apologize, I hope to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.